Welcome back to Kind Words. I'm Dear Darling, and shall we spread some kindness today? Now, I'm sad to say uh, that this will probably be the last episode for quite a while of Kind Words. I think I spoke about this before, but I'm not sure how appropriate it is, basically, for a YouTube series. But I've thoroughly enjoyed the time I spent with it, and I'm absolutely going to pay this more off um, camera. It just won't be a YouTube series anymore, and Hollow Knight will be coming to take its place, hopefully, on these Tuesday, Thursday... Ooh. Saturday slots instead. So let's make these last letters and stories we receive count. So it might come back at some point, I don't know. But for now, let's just get on with it, shall we? So we had a request last time for this episode, and it was Dear everyone, if you're going through a tough time, remember that it too shall pass, but good times are coming back. Do you have a memory that always makes you laugh when you think about it? I'd love to hear it. So we got our first letter from Tilde, I guess? Open. Hello, sender. Boy, I was excited to read this. I'm in college with six online classes at the moment, all of which are giving out homework with no real structure or due dates, leading to procrastination. IRL, I usually help my friends out with problems, and I was starting to feel like I had a little too much on my shoulders. Your comment reminded me of some really funny moments I had in high school before this large workload during COVID-19. Thanks, Bone. Aww. I'm glad I could help you out a little bit, Bone, even though you, dance, you do sound very overworked at the moment. That's a lot of classes and deadlines, but you know, that's what most funny moments are always there for. To always remind you of the good times and remind you that you're going to experience many more of them in the future. So let's hope we're coming back. Anyway, we got one from Kay here. Just a smiley face. Sure. Uh, okay. I'm going to take that as a fact that they just thought of a really funny memory that made them laugh, but they didn't know how to express it in words, so they just sent a smiley face to share that sort of feeling with us as well. How about from Zed? So, I've been playing through Final Fantasy series for a long time. One day, I'm hanging out with my friends and someone mentions a goose feather mattress and down pillows. I look at everyone and just go, Oh, Phoenix down as feathers! The, un the entire room starts laughing because of course it is. It was hilarious. <laughs> That's just one of those moments where you realise, oh my god, I'm an absolute fool. <laughs> it was something I should have realised ages ago. To be fair, I haven't actually played Final Fantasy, so I I've only vaguely heard the phrase Phoenix Down. But, you know, I'm glad that I know now, in case I ever play Final Fantasy series. And now I feel like I'm in the know, so thank you. Sorry, what letter were you? Z. And now we have one from C. My friends and I went to China for a month for, like, an exchange programme. On the last week of a trip, we went to eat sushi, and one of my friends told me that... There was matcha, oh no, I can see where it's going already, green tea powder for free. It was very amusing, but I just continued eating my sushi. He then told us that the tea smells weird. Guess what? Turns out he mistook wasabi for matcha powder. Legend says he is known as Matcha Boy from that day. It's an inside, inside joke among our clique and it never f fakes, fails to make me laugh. Ha ha ha. CNA. Thank you, C, for that story. That's an absolutely hilarious story. <laughs> Wasabi, definitely not something you want to mistake for green tea, and, well, that's a lesson that you only need to learn once, I believe, so. <laughs> and with those stories, thank you very much for all of them. Uh, we got some thanks for some lower letters, and we'll write our own letters in response to some other people, so let's view some requests. Turns out I'm the odd friend out of the four of us. The three of them now hang out without me, or it seems fake now. One of them still tries, but I was really counting on the others. I'm supposed to work with these people in a month. I'm not sure I can. Dear M, three four. I'm s sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, sounds like a terrible situation to be put in. Sometimes. Okay, I don't want to make too many sweeping judgments about this other group of friends. I was gonna put sometimes people can be horrible, but you know maybe they're just. It's not they're horrible. They're just ignorant which is ho horrible in some aspects but not you can't definitively call them horrible just because of that I feel so some sometimes people can be, be really ignorant of how they're treating up of how their actions can affect others it feels how about to be left out? But if... 
Ah, oh, they need to work with them, I forgot. <laughs> I wouldn't want your company. Perhaps you're better off that way. You can still maintain a friendly work relationship without being out there. Without you can still maintain a friendly work relationship either way. I suggest at least reaching out to that one friend who's trying. That's a friendship that can definitely definitely last a while. Before lots of love and best wishes. I hope I don't give up a wrong impression of that sort of letter, at least. But um, basically, it's, I'm trying to say sometimes if they don't want you to be friends, you don't. You might be better off that way. You know, you can find other people who actually want your company, that sort of thing, and seek you out. That's the sort of thing I'm trying to say. I really. I've really meet friends. I've I've really met friends in IRL because hey life. <clears throat> but right now they do RP activities that are not for me, so I feel away from them. Also, the leader made me responsible with my choice. I'm insecure when I when I not interact with my friends. Okay. I hope I don't misunderstand, but it sounds like this person basically. Um, they have. A group of friends but their, their friends are partaking activities which aren't really for them so if you're away from them and the leader of a group made them feel like they were responsible for their choice of not hanging out with them and they're insecure with not the friends okay i think i got it i'm sorry to hear about that true that's sometimes in circles of friends you will uh will be yeah activities that they want to do but you don't want to and that's fine you don't have to do everything together the problem is when that ends up isolating you and you do nothing together perhaps you could suggest some other things to do as well that you also like to join in with or talk with them that you don't want to hang out but not doing activity you're not they should be Including you too. Lots of love. Love? <laughs> I can't fit love in normally, so that's all we have to do. Yeah, uh, basically what I'm saying, like, at least in our circle of friends, there'll be things and activities that not everyone wants to do, and then the people who actually do want to do them will do them, and then the other people won't. And that sort of rotates, you know, through different activities, but we still try and do things that even if we're not super infused out, we'll still try it a couple of times, of course, and we'll also try and do activities which will try and include everyone that people want to do. We like to be inclusive, and that's, that should be, I think, how a good friendship circle works, in my opinion, but what do I know? <laughs> anyway, from M, parents got divorced 2012. Dad took money, which was mine, and used it without telling me. Oh god, my mum is furious and wants me to get the money back, but as she's unemployed, I'm funded by my dad and it scares me to make him furious about it so he won't give anything. Oh my god, this is entirely out of my wheel wheelhouse. Two, three, four. I'm so terribly, terribly sorry. For immensely difficult situation you've been put in. Um, <clears throat> I 
I guess I should be honest. I'm not entirely not certain what you should. <laughs> the situation is so far removed from what <laughs> I'm capable of advising on. Capable of advising on. So I think I just should give supportive comments, I suppose. That situation is definitely out of my depth for advice, but I hope that things will get better for you. You sincerely deserve it. all things <clears throat> things are incredibly scary now but you're a strong person who has faced many things before you can get through this like you can get through this I know you can lots of love and wishing the best I wish I could say something more helpful but I really don't know what to say about that oh god I hope someone's got better economic and advice for that person and I could give so I feel like I've really drifted away from my family friends that I used to be really close with. Dear P, I'm sorry to hear about that but every but even relationships that start to fade but even what, what, what did I do? I press page down, that was what I did. But even if a relationship starts to fade, doesn't mean it's gone. And definitely doesn't mean it can't be strengthened again. It can feel very lonely. Drift away from people you thought you were close with but it's likely they're worried about the same thing too if you seek them out and reforge your bond it will become even stronger than before then it's like Nothing ever happened. Then it's like nothing ever, ever happened. Before. I hope you can drift back to them. Before lots of love and wishing you the best. Good luck, P. Friendships like that aren't gone forever. Especially when you haven't burned the bridges. If you're just drifting away, you can drift back in. Just like paddle against the shore a bit. Weird analogy, I don't know what I'm saying. My dream is to have an email pen pal, but I can never find anyone to do it. Anyway, how are you today? Dear A. It might take some time, but. I'm certain you can, you will find someone eventually, then you're able to share all sorts of funny and funny and interesting stories that have gone on in your life. 
next game at least is pretty good substitute, I think. I love to hear about other people's stories through this medium. Oh, excuse my stomach. <laughs> Anyway, I'm doing rather well today, despite everything, I have high spirits and I'm feeling good. I hope things are bright for you too, people, lots of love and best wishes. I'm sure some people might be tempted to give him their email to have an email pen pal. You people are braver than I am. I feel like it's always a little bit dangerous giving out personal information over this sort of thing, so... But maybe they'll find someone. Maybe someone will be take that tip and it will work out for both of them. I've been working a job for 10 years where I feel constantly marginalised and discriminated against. Oof. Rough. Dear age, one, two, three, four. I'm sorry to hear about that. Sounds... Terrible and soul draining. I'm here to, you know, that matter, and so do your feelings. It may be a workplace, but that doesn't mean you should feel worthless or simulated against there. We've got hope in the future you can find a work environment which is much more supportive towards you rather than being negative. You deserve far better than what? Than this. One, two, three, four. Lots of love and best wishes. I hope that doesn't come off as patronising. That's always my fear when I do these sort of things. Is I'm coming off as patronising with my words, but maybe that's a, <laughs> a little bit of self-reflection. Maybe. I lost my job and regained a new job almost immediately. All this happened during the quarantine period. While I'm grateful, I'm also wondering what did I get myself into? How do I manage a child who refuses to grow up and be responsible? Ooh, that's a tough question. Dear C. That's a tough... That's a roller coaster. You found it. Glad you found a job though. It's a tough question. It probably depends on the child. Or I should guess child. Some I would say would need a dose of reality. To wake them up to their behaviors. Some they have just. Some they need to be shown they they are not worthless and can handle responsibility if introduced to it little by little. Before. I don't know what sort of situation you're in, but I'm, I'm certain you will be able to deal with it and help them. One, two, three, four. Lots of love and wishing the best. Good luck, C. I'm sure you can do it. You can be the person to let them let them grow up. If you could pick one day in your life to do again, what day would you pick? 
Would you change anything the second time around? Huh. Dear N. Three, four. I think I... Choose... My first day in high school. I would make friends with the friends I still kept with to this day. Sign up for clubs for hobbies I now know I love. <clears throat> and do my best to set little me up with a uh, up with a foundation for the future. Maybe it's cheating, but I'd love to leave a letter for past me, reassuring them of, no, comforting them through their worries and fears at the time, and tell them how good thing, tell them who they become in the future. Well, at least my future. I think I'd like that. One, two, three, four. Wait, question. Lots of love. I think that's probably, if you only get one day, it's hard to choose a day. So if you choose it early on, I feel like you can set yourself up in the future, you know, for that sort of, to minimise other sort of mistakes because I don't think there's one particular day in mind I have but it's more like a it was an on, ongoing building up of things over multiple days from a shaky foundation at the start so if you set a solid foundation at the start you got a good place to build your house on I'm interested in witchcraft but my very Christian parents would be really mad I don't know how to peruse it without them knowing I don't f know if I have anything to say to this. I have actually no advice because um, I have no idea how to how you would dodge Christian parents or like very over invasive parents. My parents are very relaxed. Okay, on well, the fact that I don't think I can give you any good advice, I should probably skip this and I should probably do that more often for things I can't give good advice in. But I feel bad for skipping because I still want to try. I'm sorry. Someone's probably got sick sick advice out there from overbearing parents who who've had overbearing parents. I wish I wasn't into someone who's too afraid to put pursue anything above a friendship with me even though they've expressed interest in, interest and feelings in me we keep going back and forth it hurts dear jay sorry to hear about that really can be painful sometimes oh my stomach's making such weird noises stop it Nuisance distracting. I'm trying to write some kind words here and relax to lo-fi chill beats. Love really can be painful sometimes. Um, people can often be scared of ships for many reasons. Maybe they've been hurt in the past. Maybe a scared of chain or maybe they don't want to lose what they have now a difficult spot where mm, 
outfit on certain this actually if it's pissing you through but I have hope that it will be able to that it will work out eventually sometimes it takes time but it sucks waiting for lots of love and wishing you the best mm, maybe a little bit waffly and a bit wishy-washy but I hope it's helpful in oh, I didn't even look up a letter I'm sorry whoever whatever letter you that was um we might have time for a couple more letters we'll see I moved to a new state with my fiance and some friends a year ago I really like the life we have made but I miss the feeling of making new friends I work relationships but the fact is it's not more the fact it's not personal makes me really sad sometimes. Dear G, one, two, three, four. Have you tried seeking out clubs relating to hobbies you enjoy? Sporting meetups or bit clubs etc perhaps you can even sort <coughs> attend hobbies you've never tried before sporting meetups but dance clubs I think that's one of the or a really good way to meet new people. Uh, I guess it's a lockdown right now so it's probably going to be quite difficult. I suppose it's harder during lockdown but online there's plenty of communities for every single hobby out there. Having something in common definitely makes it easier to build much more personal relationships before best of luck best of love best of luck and lots of love Ooh, changing it out there with my final letter of a different order and then I think we'll round off this episode by saying some nice things the final nice things for YouTube so Dear everyone, <clears throat> sometimes things come to an end, but I don't think it's always sad. I don't think sometimes things come to an end, but it's not completely sad. It's sad that never happened again. But all the happy memories that have been created will last me a lifetime. Oh. My memories will not fade. And we'll send her off as a final kind word and happiness note that I feel fits the end of a series and sometimes things do end but it's it's like the phrase don't cry because it ended smile because it happened and I'm glad I could spend this time with you so let's finish off with this final airplane coming along or maybe that one my favorite romance movie serendipity about a man and woman who after 20 years they reconnect and fall in love again with a notion of destiny what's yours i don't know many romance movies i'm sorry nice things okay well thank you <laughs> well with those final nice things let's round off this episode here so if you have been watching thank you very much this has been kind words and lo-fi chill beats to write to i've been dear darling and i hope we can see each other again but for now it's our farewell and until next time you are loved and warmest of hugs. Bye-bye.